Welcome to one more Power of Three series interview here with Roberto Monaco. Three questions going to be answered today. Three action items for you to improve your life. And of course, three resources for you to keep learning. Now, if you think that I have passion, wait to see and wait to hear my buddy Gary Gunson speak, man. Because there's one guy out there who has more passion than I have is you. Now, I, how's it going, my brother? It's going great, man. It's cool. going really good. Uh, I mean, I, I don't know if life gets too much better. I, I'm finding the essence of being, you know, living a rich life and living wealthy. It's, it's been fun. I love that. And, and hopefully today we're going to share some of that secret for us today here, or secret or strategy for us. Now, I met Gary four years ago. We did some work together. And I know this guy. I've been to Utah, I don't know, maybe 10 times. He is the real deal. He has a phenomenal company. Uh, Freedom Fast Track. He has been in every single big TV network doing interviews. Every single of them, he, you can search him on YouTube. Has some killer interviews. Now, the way this gentleman here changed my life is because before I met Garrett, my idea of investment was one idea: was put money in stock or buying real estate. Now, I'm not a real estate guy. I don't know much about real estate, but after I met you. He is the guy who taught me the principle about aligning, this is very important, aligning my investments with my sole purpose. is a concept that most people don't understand, and hopefully today we're going to uh, have a chance to, to explore that, explain that. So I owe it that to you, my brother. I appreciate that, man. Garrett is the author of a phenomenal book, Killing the Sacred Cows, New York Times bestselling author. Also, he's the author of the New Rules to Get Rich, phenomenal phenomenal uh program that he put together you were there when i recorded it I know, man. man i know this is this is this is like gold here this is gold right here so gary gunderson welcome to a influenceology community my brother thanks so much for being here hey thanks man uh, i just want to say that i met roberto um through one of uh, uh phil tyrone heard me speak and he said great content if you really want to make a bigger impact you gotta have roberto monaco out so I was going to arrange to fly him into Utah because we had a plane, and I actually had two partners die in a plane crash a few weeks later. But here's the thing. Another guy that I knew really well, another guy by the name of Garrett, is it a speaking thing, and he's like, calls me, he's like, you got to meet this guy, Roberto Monaco. I'm like, I've, I know who he is, been on the phone with him. He says, yeah, you, we got we to gotta hire him. So the two Garrett's hire him. I, I fly Roberto in like 9.45 a.m. He lands. I'm speaking that night for 45 minutes. And uh, we sit down. We put together a presentation. And 88 people of 121 people bought an event for $375 that happened a week and a half later. Roberto filmed it. We came back to my office. He, we did a few chest bumps. And he <laughs> asked me by till 3 a.m. showing me, hey, here's what you did right. Here's what you could improve. But man, my numbers without him that day probably would have been like 10 people, 11 people. Instead, it was 88 people. I was like, I was so excited. I, I gave my university 50 grand that next day. <laughs> the Goo Goo Dolls to come in for concerts. So, you know, I just was, uh, I was, I was excited. What could I say? So thanks for all that help, man. And, Thank uh, you, man. Yeah, phenomenal. Thank you. Thank you for everything you do for us and for me, man, personally. So I have three questions here. Uh, but this book is really powerful. And one of the questions that I feel that is really important for us to understand is this. What, in your opinion, what is the biggest financial myth that people have, entrepreneurs have right now? Uh, entrepreneurs have a financial myth of premature diversification. They think that if they take their money and put it into other ideas, other companies outside of their own, that that's somehow going to pay off for them. So they think that they're going to save, sacrifice, delay, and defer their way to wealth. But no one ever became wealthy because they handed their money to some financial planner. They got wealthy because they built a great business. And so that's the number one thing. The number two thing real quick is they think that luck, saving, discipline, rate of return, or the right financial advisor makes a difference. It absolutely doesn't. Value creation in alignment with our abundant selves, is what is, that's what makes the real difference of building sustainable wealth. Going back to the point number one, because you talk about prematuring uh, diversification, meaning like if you have a lot of money, let's say you have an extra 100000 So people get this money and they say put it in stocks or, 
real estate? Is that what we're talking about specifically? Yeah, think about this. Apple's sitting on more cash than like anyone right now. And we don't see Apple going, oh, we need to hurry and go put this into a mutual fund. Hey, we need to go invest this in our competition. Yet that's what an individual small business owner does is they sit on this extra money and rather than building people, process and procedure in their own business, they think they should go put it somewhere else. And it's, it's asinine, it's crazy, but we do it because that's what everyone else does and that's what the financial planners wanna do is separate us from our money. You gotta stop doing it. It's just, it's insane to take that hundred grand and put it in the stock market unless you're brilliant at stocks. Hmm. Uh, the financial planners, they love you, huh? <laughs> I, I'm a reformed financial planner myself, so. Oh my brother. No, I, I, I understand this, this concept because personally, I was doing some investments that I, I was just trusting someone else instead of like getting the money, investing in something that I know, which is my business. So I think it's a really powerful concept. Yeah, most people, I guess they are, they don't, they lack, don't you think that people lack confidence though? Because let's say I have a lot of money instead of like, it's easy for, for some people, it's easier for me to give my money away than invest for myself. What it, what's causing that? Uh, fear, fear is the number one factor and myths. So. I look at it, hey man, I've been with you where you're doing like 100 push-ups even though we're in a hotel. I, I, I see you out doing pull-ups. That's hard as hell to do, yep. that's hard. It's way easier to sleep and eat potato chips and watch a movie. So here's the deal, people don't live hard easy unless they wanna be excellent. People that wanna be excellent say it's harder to invest in my business, be deliberate, build the right team, put the cash here where I'm responsible. It's easier to hand the money to the financial planner and go, hey, if they mess it up, it's their fault, but you still have the consequence. So it's hard easy versus easy hard. Easy hard is hand your money over, it's easy, but it's gonna be hard when it sucks and they don't perform. It's a lot harder to invest in your business, but easier because you actually know what the hell's going on and you can course correct and adjust versus just lose. Got it. So, so what is the, the second question then is, what is the best place for someone to invest? I mean, in, in the three Ps, people, process, and procedure. So what that means is you invest first and always in yourself as a way of life, not as a one-time transaction. So you continually expand your ideas, your knowledge, your wisdom. You continually expand your networks, your resources, your people. You don't just take those dollars and throw them to other places. You keep it close to home where you have knowledge, passion, and purpose, period. So three people, the second P is for process? Yeah, which is systems that allow people to perform better. And then procedure in my world means automation and technology that like a book, like an audio, like things that can get your message out there without you having to be there physically. So, you know, it, it, procedure elevates a business to be more duplicatable and more leverageable. Okay. Okay. Now, a lot of people are talking about making more money. The third question is, do you feel that there's a lot of people out there that are losing money, that money is leaking right now? And if it is, where? 93% of business owners we talk to are overpaying taxes by $11,700 a year on average. 93? 93. 100% of business owners we've talked to are leaking money because they don't have the right debt structure, negotiated the best interest rates, improved their credit score, and understand what their recurring debt expenses are. So that's 100% of people we know are leaking in that way, and the average is $2,884 a month. Most people are overpaying fees and there's hidden commissions on their investments. Most people have duplicate coverages or unnecessary expenses because of improper structure with their insurances. We're talking about tens of thousands of dollars a year that is being pissed away to institutions and governments that can be kept by the business owner with some knowledge and insight. Wow. Uh, how, how much, in average, like two, two grand a month? I'm just trying to write as fast as I can. So it's around two grand a month? It used to be $1,600 a month back in 2010, but our 2011 study showed $2,884 a month of, wow. of cash flow that could be improved without having to get new clients, hire new people, just money that's inefficient inside of their dollars. Oh man, their plan, that's their powerful. Dollars. So what are three quick strategies here that someone, we have business owners, chiropractors, loan officers, realtors, lawyers, architects, entrepreneurs here listening to us right now. What three things they can do today 
to maybe recoup some of this money. To Number one, strategies. if they're not incorporated, get incorporated. Okay. Be a business owner. Businesses are corporations. Sole proprietor is stupid. I, I, I know that's direct, but don't be a sole proprietor. It's unlimited liability, and here's the deal. If you are a corporation, you can look back up to three years and recover amended taxes if you missed any tax deductions. So find out from a competent CPA if you missed any of the past three years um, on your tax deductions. Number two, improve your credit score above 780. If it gets above 780, you can get better interest rates and you can get better rates on your car and homeowner's insurance. Isn't it supposed to be a 720? Used to be back in 2008. It changed when the credit crunch happened. Okay. Tier one is considered 780. Okay. A, a credit is 720, but there's different tiers. 780 is the new 720. I got it. Okay. Like, like my wife's in the 800s. We just got approved without showing pay stubs or anything on a Mercedes. $100,000 Mercedes approved like that. We went in, walked out with it on the, on the way home. I didn't have to give them any additional stuff because she was at 780. 720, I would have had to show all her pay stubs. I would have had to show actual taxes. So okay. it's a totally different game. Got it. Number one, incorporate. Number two, make sure the credit's uh, 780 or above. Number three? Number three, you know, just uh, go out and get killing sacred cows and read about all the nonsense that's out there. Because if you're fun, so I'll give you more direct. If you're funding a retirement plan, stop funding it and invest it in your business or pay off your debt. Retirement plans are worthless. I'm telling you, 401ks, IRAs are absolutely pigs for the slaughter when it comes to taxes. <laughs> if you think that taxes are gonna go up, why would you defer them? If you think your business is gonna be more successful, why would you put money into one of these plans to get hit with more taxes in the future? Stop funding those things. Put money where you understand it. Those are my three tips. Love it, brother. All right, let's talk about resources, man. Let's talk about real man. You, you're the kind of guy when you speak, your my mind start like, am I doing something wrong? <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> you, sure. you feel like I'm yelling at you. If you <laughs> no, are. I, no, I love it. Uh, three resources. Number one, I'm gonna I'm gonna encourage everybody. You gotta have this. Just get it. New York Times bestselling, phenomenal book. Number one resource. The second resource that I think has a lot of value to our audience here, if we go, I'm gonna put a link here on our website, uh, freedomfasttrack.com, has some killer articles there. And number, the third resource, Garrett, why don't you talk to us about the cash recovery analysis? I know a lot of people are stoked about it. You put a, it's a, almost like $500 value, is a service that they put together. Can you explain what it is and what's the benefit for us to, to go to this analysis? Yeah, I mean, I've, I look, Honestly, I've given it away for free and I've charged $200 or $400 for it starting in 2013. I'm not letting anyone in that doesn't pay $500 for it because we just don't have capacity to handle this number of people. But the bottom line is business owners are leaking money. A cash recovery analysis is over the phone with one of my trained people right out the door here. I can show you right out that window. That's where they're sitting right now, trained by me. They go through and ask you questions to find out where you're losing money. Taxes, insurance, other hidden fees or expenses. And then, if you like that meeting, yeah, you can talk to us about what to do next. But that is a value add meeting. And you don't have to give us your social security number. You don't have to send any documents in. It's just a phone call. But if you take advantage of it, make sure you make your meeting because if you miss one, you're done, right? You have to yep. be yep. correct yeah, sure. and tell us ahead of time because I'm not giving you an online assessment. This is a human being, so it's real dollars out of my pocket. Yes. So the number that I have here, I'm gonna put in the video here, 1-800-400-8385, again, 1-800-400-8385. How long is this uh, cash recovery analysis? How long does it take usually? 30 minutes to an hour and a half, depending on the person's finances, because right. you know it, it, some are simpler than others, but yeah. Awesome, so any, any special message for us for the astrology community here that they listen to us? Yeah, I mean, if you haven't hired Roberto, hire hire. <laughs> on, this bro. guy is like so committed to value creation more than about anyone I've ever met. So you just just do it. I mean, he he only paid for himself for two years in advance from the first day he spent <laughs> with me. So that's not too bad. Um, the second thing is, you know, stop investing in stupid crap. You got to get clear about your own purpose, and then 
the, the risk to an entrepreneur is that we can't discern the difference between an opportunity and a distraction. So say no to more things so you can only say yes to the things that are just right for you. And the, the things you say no to is mutual funds, real estate if you don't love real estate, stocks if you don't love stocks. Simplify, and I'll leave you with this. Invest all your eggs in one basket and ensure that basket well. Diversification is for the weak, and diversification is admission of stupidity. <laughs> Thanks so much, brother. I love you, man. It was a pleasure. And uh, again, just go to uh, uh, freedomfasttrack.com. I'm going to put the link here or call for the cash recovery analysis 1-800-400-8385. Love you, brother. Thanks so much for your time today. Thank love you, you too.